Sports Illustrated swimsuit model Angie Everhart. The 47-year-old opening up about her recovery from thyroid cancer. Debbie, I know you've been following her journey. I have, Louie. The side effects of her battle resulted in her decision to go under the knife. And Angie took me inside the process, starting with the moment she was diagnosed. Take me back to the day that the doctor said the words to you, you have thyroid cancer. The first thought that I had was that I'm not going to see my son grow up. You know, I don't want to cry right now. You know, with the thyroid problems, you gain weight really fast. So I, you know, I blew up right away. I did Oprah's show, Where Are They Now? And I saw a picture of myself. And I was like, wow, I got hit with a fat stick, didn't I? How much weight did you gain? About 25 pounds which my husband helped me lose. Newly married after her diagnosis, her husband Carl and son Caden helped Angie through. Now 47 and cancer-free, she wants to look as good as she feels. The other incision will go just right up here into the hairline. You've made this decision that you would like to go under the knife. I see it every day in my face. I want to just look like I got sleep. Here, put your head back. Beverly Hills plastic surgeon Dr. Ben Talley marks where Angie will get a lift to erase signs of aging while keeping a natural appearance. I do something called an aura lift procedure. It's a modified version of a facelift. So it gets rid of all the old things that you've seen with facelifts and it actually just makes the face and neck look more refreshed. All right, let's rock and roll. Angie heads to the operating room where she goes through five hours of surgery to raise her eyes, neck, and cheek area. And after three weeks of recovery time... I look refreshed, I look like I'm good at this. First of all, you look amazing. Thank you. Are you happy with your results? Very happy. It's only been a little over a month, so day by day by day, it gets better and better and better. This is like how I felt when I was in my 20s.